<laughs> hey, Wire Talker M here. So, I have a video that I'm going to do that is a counteracting video for a video somebody else did over in the UK. And just wanted to make a video to counter what he said and kind of bring uh, ideas to light. So, we're going to talk about compost. Now, my compost is just in the ground. There used to be a pit here, and this is catching everything that is food scrap. And, uh, and also, the pine needles just happen to fall in the yard, and they become part of it, and everything just becomes part of it. So, let me turn this a little if I can and try to get down into the, the main part of it here for a minute. I'm just using a, a stick and trying to quickly find, ah, there he is, the worker, the very hard worker in this process. And now I know you can see him is a worm. And once you start seeing worms in your compost pile, your work is done except for adding to it. Now the countering part. Bear with me while I get the video situated. So, there was a fellow in the UK, and we may have to uh, rearrange ourselves here a little bit. Get out of the light. That looks like the light isn't quite working for us. So, let's see if that helps. That might be a little better for folks. Sorry about the sun. So, in another video that I watched, a uh, gentleman over in England, uh, I didn't catch. It's one of those deals where you're down the YouTube rabbit hole and the videos keep flipping and flipping and flipping and flipping and flipping and eventually you end up somewhere where you didn't start. Now that happened to me the other day. And uh, there was a guy that did a video of his very small garden in his very small yard in the UK. Now, in that video, he said his yard is very small and that he could not compost. It just wasn't possible for him. And, well, I'm going to tell you, you're going to need a few things, but anybody can compost. You could probably compost in a two by two yard when I'm done. So, smaller than two foot by two foot, probably ought not try to compost because you'll definitely have a mess but <laughs> I think it's possible just about anything else uh, and I may be exaggerating just a little but you know trying to figure this out you you'd have the two two foot by two foot by two foot and then another six feet up which would be about as tall as anybody could reach to get in it yeah, you could do a two foot by two foot yard and your compost would come out on the other side. But first you gotta know how, right? That's where this video comes in. You're gonna need a few things. First, at Harbor Freight, they sell some very cheap twine called rope. It's not nine core, they, or not, oh, shoot, nine core. It is not paracord. It is just cheap cord. But for a dollar something, you can buy you know, 25 or 50 feet, whatever it is. And you can do this. And you can make rope zip ties. If you want to know how to do that, check out the video that I should have posted at the same time as this about the power stitch knot. Okay. So with that out of the way, you need two lengths of rope doubled over to be at least two feet long, 
two and a half feet long at the longest so that you got your roof. Cost, if you buy the $1 thing, probably you know, a few cents. We'll call it, you know, five cents. Okay. You are going to need this drain found in the garden center at most hardware stores. And it says, I got this at Home Depot, so let me share with you. ADP 53305 Flex Drain Drain Cap. And there's that. Now let's give you another second to check that out. Okay. Did I just read that right? I did. It said made in the USA. Imagine that. This definitely not made in the USA. The drain cap made in the USA. And I got 12 foot, which is maybe more than you need. And you can get shorter lengths. But, you know, this doesn't look like a lot, but it does expand out. This is... 12 foot of 3.66 millimeter flex drain solid. Okay. And it doesn't say where this is made. So I can't tell you where this is made. Hmm. Anyhow, it says internal use only. One end of this is small and the other end of this is big. While you're checking for your drain, make sure your drain fits into the pipe. And all you're going to do is, that's it. It's secure. These two items together were 11 bucks or less. Depending on your store and your tax rate, I would say 12 bucks is the most you should pay for this. Now, I'm not going to do the drilling right now, but if you want this to be a compost bin, you have to drill holes. And I'd say eighth inch and four holes every few links through this. So say you got a corrugated link, here's, here's a spot, drill four holes in this one, drill four holes in this one, go a few inches, drill four holes in this one, etc., etc. If you can find this perforated, that would be best. But that right there will let it drain. And that's the biggest thing. Now, we're making a compost bin. So, you're going, how are we making a compost bin, right? This is vertical. Everything rots. So, take the knife, point it away from you. Cut the tie. Take the knife, point away from you, cut the tie. You're supposed to be able to tear these little tabs. These, these don't tear very easy. Well, that one tore real easy. Usually they don't, so I just cut them. Okay. Again, with any project, when you're done, throw away your trash. It's not compostable. Don't keep it. Recycle it, reuse it, do something with it. I mean, probably make a decent hinge, actually. They're stiff. You could go down a panel and make a hinge on something with that stuff. Uh, put screws in through it. But, you know, just an idea to reuse. Um, also, they probably would make dandy handles. So say you make a wooden box and you need handles, you put these through some holes on the side, fold them back, and staple them too. And then your handles stick through the wood and will hold for a long time, I'm sure. Two uses. Just thought them up five seconds or less, really. That's all, all we need to do to keep the world going, right? So now I've taken loose the stuff. Now, I know that I want to keep some of my things in my compost that haven't been stained because 
other animals come and eat it. Now, that's not a bad thing, but the idea is to build compost. Compost can't build if everything's getting scarfed up, and I don't want animals to get hurt on the things that I'm composting. So, I need to be thoughtful of this. So, all I'm doing is I'm going through here and I'm expanding this tube. There you go. I mean, it's when I get done, that little tube is going to be 12 foot. Okay. Now, remember, the one thing you got to do, and you can do this after you assemble it, after you're done, you have to drill some holes in between ever so often to aerate this so that it'll compost. But we're talking $11, $3 drill bit, $20 drill. You're in business, you know, if you don't have those things. If you have those things, you're already in business. If you have this drain pipe somewhere used, as long as you can get a cap in the end of it, you're ahead of the game, because I had to buy mine. So, again, I'm just going through and I'm expanding this out. Okay. And I mean, this is this is not rocket science. Look at that. And there's some that'll be doubled. You gotta watch that. Because you want this to expand because the expansion's gonna allow for the further use of it, right? Now, the nice thing about this is, is it also bends, but let's get it straight first. Okay, I still have this much. And now I've got the end I can grab hold of. There we go. Double ones, get them. Keep expanding, there's some more doubles. See that? I'll watch for that. You want to expand out. Okay. Now, you got people making compost bins out of tubs. You've got people making compost bins out of all kinds of things, right? Um, I don't know what the surface area of this is when you're done, but I think it's pretty good size <laughs> probably better than than most of your tubs that you're gonna buy okay so I got it straight to an extent it's gonna keep doubling in spots now I got a choice do I quit at a certain amount or do I expand on this idea now what I eventually want to do is put the end drains into my compost bin. But this video is for people that need to have a place to compost that don't have anywhere or think they have not enough space to do it. So, this is the trick. I'm gonna try to move the video to another area. And again, wrong time of day for this, I guess, but the sun's here and we gotta deal with it. You got your drain end. Now, so you can see what I'm doing, but basically, you need to have a place for it to go. Now, and it's just like running a drain in your yard anyway. So you can either bury it or you can just lay it out. Now, Try to get a different angle here. And I'm gonna do this from over here now if I can. But so I'm not six foot. 
this is right now about five feet but I wanted a little taller so here we go I wanted six foot which I'm not right but that would be good if I wanted to dump things up here but I don't five foot will accommodate everybody that I know that needs to use this Hello? Plenty of room. Hear the echo? There's lots of room in here. So, I found my location. For me, it's a tree. This could be the side of your porch. You could literally take one screw and screw this to a back porch door frame. And have your compost bin secure to something but mine is also going to be temporary okay so my attachment device that I chose was the cord that I used and if you haven't watched my video on power stitch go back to it it'll show you how to do that there because I'm not doing that here I'm just gonna make my power stitch let's make sure I got enough and this one's not long enough I did not think this particular tree was that big but we're okay because directly behind this tree is another tree and as long as I have somewhere for the line to go, I'm good. So, let me move you all to a better location to watch the process. I'm going to move this a little bit further back and take it to another tree. This is going to work out really well because then I can put it in the high side of the compost bin. And secure it to where it's draining into it. So, I've got my power stick. twist there and cinch that down and that holds that in place. Now, I can go ahead and do that one more time below there. as possible and like I said this is just going to drain down here so now let me show you this that's 12 foot okay hopefully you can see that that is 12 foot okay that will hold stuff it's secure it's not going anywhere 
It's also temporary. You don't have to leave it there. So if you're renting, you can compost until you can't, if you need to move. And you can move your bin. You drill some holes in that and the drain will come out the other end and it'll go into the compost bin or you can make an area where the compost comes out at and uh, have a simplified compost setup. So six foot up, six foot out, and it's only, you know, four inches in diameter. Why would anybody not be able to compost using that logic? And, you know, I can take a soldering iron if I don't have a drill, poke holes through that plastic every once in a while, make sure it ventilates. I've got six foot of ventilation, 12 foot of ventilation, drainage, compostability, and won't have to fight with animals getting into my compost. Also, I can very easily put something on top of this for a lid when I'm not putting stuff in it for compost, keeping things from crawling in there and getting hurt. So it's a good solution for people with limited space. If you have limited space and you need to compost, it's really as simple as using a line, a little bit of time, less than $13 worth of material, a drill, your hands, a knife, and some rope. So, I wish I could find the guy over in the UK again that was doing the video um, and tell him that he can compost. If anybody knows the video I'm talking about, uh, the guy seemed like he was a pretty good gardener, but he said he just didn't have room. Uh, share the video. Or if you know anybody that says they can't compost because they don't have enough room to do it, or they're in an apartment, or if they're in a place with, you know, an eight foot yard, okay? I mean, we know that if you came off of something six foot, came out two feet, over two feet, and back two feet, that's 12 feet. It actually lessens as it goes around the bends by just a little bit. But if you have a two foot yard and a way to hang six foot, vertical, you can compost too.